Hello guys, Hikiyami Moriko this, and welcome to another indie game. This one's called A Tears for Eternity Chapter 1. A uh, demo version, I think. So let's just play this game. It's uh I think I think the game just started like this. I can't even press anything else. Legend. Fight in Potion Event Store Forge. I have no idea what I'm doing. There's no instructions or anything in the game. The game just starts like this. So. Yeah, I have no idea what was that. But now there's nothing. So I think this is like a what is it? The pillar will attack Sideria damage five. So these are my four characters. I think it's like a like a deck building battle game or something. I'm really confused. This could really use a small tutorial or something. Uh, deals five damage. So what like I deal damage? Ah, this is like my spell. Whatever. Uh, shoot two, draw one. Five armor to ball and brutus. Heal five to self. Summon a bubble. Lose three HP. What? Discard pile? No, okay. Pilar's turn. Pew! Okay, so I have three energy. I guess. Actions remaining. I have three actions remaining, okay. Minus one strength to all and five HP, for, I think. Uh, deals five damage, yes. Summon two clouds? Yeah, let's go. What the hell are clouds? I have no idea. But they look cool, okay. I have one action remaining. Should one enter stealth? Oh, so I guess the color of the of the spell affects the the color of the character. I guess. Okay. So he's gonna debuff me. What is this? The pilot will attack all allies. Damage two. Deals eight damage. Let's go. Reward. I won. Also, the music it's kind of loud for the game. I don't know. I don't know if it's loud for you guys. Uh, reward. Strength plus 5. Double your armor. If below 20 HP, strength plus strength, strength plus 5. Yes. Another pilar. Okay. So... I guess I'm just gonna deal damage. Oh, this, this pilar counters. Okay, let's go. That was fast, okay. Unplayable. Deal 15 damage when discarded. Unplayable? What do you mean unplayable? I want this. I don't know what's unplayable, but I want it. Let's go. Now I can use this. Does that mean it's not coded yet or something? Well, anyway, let's kill this. This bad boy. What? I do like the music and the, the aesthetic for this these background things. It's amazing. Reward. Five plus the strength, uh, five armor, gain one strength for each visible pain card. No. Uh, I guess plus two strength. Yes. Let's go. Well, I, I don't know anything about this game. Let's let's go check quickly the Ichio page. It says fight the pillars to prove your worth. Play as Bald, Sideria, Margaret, and Brutus. Four travelers trying to obtain the fabled elixir of immortality. Everybody knows the legend. Those who can defeat the great pillars of Oniric Forest are worthy of eternity. Whatever that means. Build your deck through battles and try to obtain that stupid potion. I don't know. And then it says, Romance, Bloodshed, Horses. This game has everything. What are you waiting for? The full release? Yeah, that's a good point. Game currently in development, okay. Uh, demo available, only pillar fights. Yeah. Understandable. And uh, what will the full game really have? More cards, chops, 
random events, NPCs, horses, that one is important, more fight mechanics, and then how to cancel this listing, okay, so that's about it, I, I guess this game does not have blood, so what I'm gonna do is gonna make a few fights, and then it's gonna be done, I guess, plus 3 HP, deal 14 damage, let's go, Summon a bubble? Amazing. Now I have a bubble. I don't know what the bubble does, but it looks amazing. Plus 5 strength. Okay. What is that? What? Reward. Deals 2 damage, deals 5 damage. If a low HP, 20 armor. Well, I guess I will eventually run out of HP. What is this? Like money to, to buy cards or something? Again, the music is pretty good. I guess clouds allow you to, to evade ground damage or something, I'm, I'm guessing. Heals 5, so I'm on a bubble. Pain, unplayable. Let's go. Seems really fun, I mean, I obviously it could use some, some story background or something, but... The gameplay is really solid. Plus 5 actions, destroy, if below 20 HP, double your armor, yeah, more actions. Should 1, enter stealth, 5 strength, 2 plus 2 strength. Because you, you, can, you can just do it pretty quick and it makes for a very intense gameplay. Like you can, you can just do this and just playing becomes really intense, look at this. Actually, this game could really benefit from a, from an auto mode. Like you just leave the, the auto and the, and the cards just spend themselves. It could it could be a really fun um, mobile game if you do this kind of gameplay at the end of each turn. Uh, below it on HP plus one make max HP. Oh, let's go with that one. Yeah, let's go, man. Oh, you can save your actions. That's also really useful. What is this? Burn 1, deal 10 damage. When burn, plus 4 actions. When a card is burned, draw 1. Okay. Oh, damn it. I don't know what those do. I guess it adds cards to my, to my deck. This one's sleepy? Let's go. Transform clouds into thunder clouds. When drawing a guild, deal for damage. I want to turn clouds into thunder clouds. This one has more health. How about you eat this? Yeah, I could see myself having a thunder phone with this one in auto battle, just watching the things happen. What is this? Deal to damage four times, double your strength. Yeah, more damage. I don't like that some cards destroy it after the use.
Yeah, I mean, there, there's not much to say about this, but... Um, the battle system, it's it's nice. It looks really nice. The music is incredible. You know me, I love my pixel art and 8-bit music. So, I, I guess I'm a little biased about games like this. But it, it's a good game, yes. Um, Row 4 when discarded, transform clouds into thunder clouds. Summon a cloud. If airborne, summon a thunder cloud too. If airborne. I wonder what is what was all of this. I guess this this part of the game it's not done yet. You can also can't really click the this one. Oh damn it! I guess that the pilots just get more HP each time, so it gets harder. So far, I, I don't think I'm in any danger of dying. I mean, this guy is 15 HP. Now everyone has clouds, except for Brutus, I guess. Brutus. Can I run out, out of cards or something? I guess because this means you have... This is, this is the, the user interface, right? You have arrows, you have like... The stats. The defense, the attack, and it's really useful because it looks really cool behind the character, but it also serves information purpose. Instead of having the the whole screen with a bunch of numbers and stuff, you can just integrate it here. It's amazing. I do really like when you when you summon a bubble like this, and it's yes, and you got daggers here and stuff. It's it's amazing. That's a really well thought interface. I also really like that enemies are like for some reason pillars or something. Let's go. So... What is this? Lose 3 HP, plus 2 strength. If you have 4 mana, 9 mana, I mean, uh, spend it in a plus 4 strength. 2 mana at the end of each turn. I guess this is one of like the tank, the damage, the assassin and the healer, I guess. <laughs> Discard pile. I think I'm I'm gonna die this round. Yeah, this guy is about to die. That's a bunch of damage. Maybe I can kill him before he kills Brutus. No, Brutus, no. Now I can use Brutus cards. I wonder if he comes back after. In the next fight. Hey, that that was a bunch of damage. No! Oh my god, that's a bunch of damage. Just in time. Uh, if in stealth, draw two, enter stealth. If in stealth, load three. Should one enter stealth? Okay. They come back with one HP, damn it. Gotta make No She's dead and she's the healer, damn it. Okay, this might be my last fight. Or the next one. No, Brutus, damn it. Now, this is gonna be my last fight. Damn it, no. Oh, survived, yes. Enter stealth. Oh my god, there's nothing I can use. Yeah, this is gonna be my last fight. Damn it. You can do it, knife guy. Just deal 12 damage. You just have to deal 12 damage. Eight more damage. Survive, survive that one! Damn it! Do it! Yes! At least I got this one. I'm gonna die in the next one, of course. Daggers deal eight, three bonus damage for this fight. 
When drawing a guild, deal for damage. When drawing a guild, deal for damage. That's one. Yeah, I'm gonna die. There's no way I'm gonna survive. Goodbye. Dutch! The blessed Dutch. Now I'm dead. Your score is 13. Uh, you, I guess you guys can see it. Uh, a screen pop up. It's kind of weird that screen pop up. Uh, just make it a, a text in game. Your score is 13. Thank you for trying out the demo. Expect much more in the final product. The game will now close. Okay. Well, that's that's the game. As you can see, I just launched it and the game just starts in a fight. For some reason. Yes. So. Well, I guess that's all for this game that's named. Uh, a Tears for Eternity, Chapter 1. I wonder why is Chapter 1 if, if there's no plot whatsoever yet. So you can just call it A Tears for Eternity. So, what can I say about this game? Obviously, I can talk about the, the lore and stuff of the game, that it's coming soon with the horses. Uh, but as playable as it is, it's a good game. I mean, I I'm playing it on my PC, but if I had it on my phone, I could play it like waiting for while cooking food or in the bathroom or something. It's really fun uh, for long plays and for short plays because you can just fight one pilot if you're bored. Or you can take on multiple enemies if, if you want to spend more time in the game. Um, I'm not really digging the, the mechanic of the some cards that destroy themselves after use. And that you can really, you can really like... Well, I guess in, in future updates you can like customize your deck to only use the cards you want. But yeah, that's that's just personal preferences about card games. But uh, the battle system, it's it's amazing. Uh, it's good. I like that you can just, just like throw every spell you want and don't, and even win some fights. I also like this this uh, that you can see the spell do something, right? It's not only the card saying you have one bubble now and you see bubble one now. You can actually see the bubble moving and stuff. And that's amazing because most of the card games, like I know a lot of people love card games like Hearthstone and stuff. But I do like when the cards actually uh, graphically do something, not just, oh, it's this card jumping and hitting the other card. That's dumb. Like, you know, when, when you when you, when I was a kid and I was watching Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, and, and I saw the monsters get summoned and stuff, it's like, oh my god, he summoned the moon, and you can see the moon inside the moon, the moon uh, in the sky. That's amazing, and that's what I expect the card games, uh, at least in video games, do. Like, they show you what the cards do, and this game does it really well. So, I guess for what it is, the battle system and that stuff, uh, this game it's like 10 out of 10 without the plot yet, so... I guess, if, if it, of course it's missing a bunch of features, uh, I'm saying it's a 10 out of 10 for a demo version of the battle system, right? Not a 10 out of 10 game. Uh, as a game it has a long way to go, but of course it's just, it's just like a, a, a game currently in development, so I can be like, oh this game sucks. No, it's, it's under development, right? You can... Things takes time to make, uh, and this game, it's working really well for what I can see, so it's a 10 out of 10 for a game in development, for a card game in development. So yeah, if you guys want to try it, you know, the link is down in the description for all the games I play. Uh, I will see you in the next in the game or stream. Thank you for watching and goodbye.